All right, so the last little bit we wanted to talk about here are some other transistors. Uh, really, I'm saying things that have been built up out of BJTs or MOSFETs uh, to make your life a little easier. Uh, they are handy, so we should talk about them. Uh, a couple of different ones. Uh, the first is a Darlington. Uh, what a Darlington is, is it's actually two uh, BJTs together. Um, so two BJTs put together in this clever pair. Uh, it works out really nice for you. Um, you get a slightly bigger gain, so you can use even less current to control even, even higher current loads, which is nice. Um, that's good, uh, but what makes them really useful is that they come in handy packages. Uh, so they come in this really handy package uh, called a ULN2003. Um, so the ULN2003 um, it does a couple nice things. First off, it's got any resistance that it needs built in internally, so you suddenly don't need to worry about a resistor at all. You just connect it straight to the pick, just like a MOSFET. The way they get away with that is they can only control things up to like half an amp, um, and that's such a narrow range that it can work with. They just they pick a size so that you don't even have to worry about it, so I love that. Um, the other thing which is nice is they build in something called a snubber diode, um, we'll talk about snubber diodes next time, but the fact that it's built in means you know one less thing you have to worry about. So you don't need a resistor, um, and you also don't need a snubber diode. You just have to connect uh, this certain line on the chip, uh, which we'll talk about next time. They're cheap. Um, <laughs> always a fan of cheap. Um, and they also come with seven in a package. Um, so it's like, hey, you get all these great things. You've got seven different transistors. Uh, you don't need a resistor. You've got the snubber dial uh, for free. Um, they're really nice. Uh, so the way they work and look um, is they come in a package like this. Uh, they share a um, an emitter. So the emitter is the same on all of these uh, BJTs. Um, and it's pin 8, and you just ground it, which is nice. Um, and then you've got seven independent um, bases. Oops, I started to draw a, a resistor on there, but you don't need a resistor. It's kind of the whole point. Um, oh, they come in this little package. Here's a, a real one. Um, so a ULN2003. So if I can remember, this pin gets grounded, um, and then your microcontroller will go straight on to you know, one of these guys. Um, and then if you wanted to control, say, an LED, I'll just kind of draw an LED on here. Um, it would go into the output pins. I think I've rotated it in my mind correctly uh, based on this diagram. Um, so just to kind of uh, <clears throat> do a quick example, uh, let's say we were doing a motor, right? Um, so see if you can connect a motor uh, in one uh, location. So see if you can connect it uh, and then connect, I don't know, Let's add two more uh, LEDs um, and see if you can connect these guys as appropriate. Uh, so I'll give you a minute to do that. All right, so I'm going to do it as well. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Um, let's say you wanted to use the top one for the motor, and then for no apparent reason you wanted to skip to four and five. Uh, the motor would just be connected straight across. Uh, and then you would connect um, your LEDs to 4 and 5. You would ground um, <coughs> pin 8, which is the emitter. Um, and then the just to kind of cheat the, the snubber diode, it actually just gets connected to uh, your voltage supply. So here in this example, all my voltage supplies are the same, um, so I can use a snubber. To be honest, snubbers are not important for LEDs. The only reason you would need a snubber is for this motor. Talk about them next time. Um, but they're a handy little device to use, so it's a great package uh, for BJTs. Care about. Uh, last thing uh, that I wanted to mention today, again, we're going to hit this hard next time, is uh, H bridges. Um, an H bridge controls a motor, so this is a motor. The whole idea of an H bridge is it is a way to drive uh, bi-directional motors. So let's say this motor, you turn it on clockwise by sending current through uh, in this direction. If you wanted to send it counterclockwise, uh, you would send it through in the other direction. So for counterclockwise, you would turn these two guys on, uh, those ones off. 
Um, and then, of course, for the other direction, you would have swapped uh, who was on and who was off. So it'd be on, on, uh, off, off. Um, rarely do you build them yourselves. You usually buy them in a cool little package, uh, which makes life easier as well. Uh, but I just wanted to tell you about uh, H bridges. Uh, next time we'll discuss them in great gory detail. Um, you will know everything about them next time. Um, I should say that the only way you can tell them apart is to read the number that's on the top. Um, a Darlington will say like 2003, um, and then an H bridge will say. It'll probably say either L293 or 754410. Um, these things change, uh, so probably in a couple of years it'll be some other crazy number. Um, but you have to be able to read the super fine print. Um, it's the only way you can tell them apart. Um, also, I should mention that there's like this little dimple on top. It's like a little U-shaped dimple. Um, that always tells you what top is. Um, so this one right here is always pin number one. So that dimple is what you're looking for so that you put it in the correct orientation. Um, oh, I forgot this was even on here. Uh, the next uh, thing I just wanted to mention is a relay. Um, a relay is not a transistor. Um, a relay is a mechanical system um, to take an electromagnet. Um, so when you turn on your electromagnet, it physically moves a piece of metal um, to make a connection. Um, when you turn the electromagnet off, um, it spring loads that piece of metal uh, to turn the switch off. So they, um, you know, look like this. Here's an electromagnet. Um, so you would, you know, charge the electromagnet um, and then it would decide to either turn on the load um, or leave it disconnected. They're really simple, but we're not going to use them in this class. Uh, they are a good way to turn on and off big things uh, because there's separation uh, between your control lines um, and then you're turning things on and off. All right, now I'm actually done. Um, so that's it for uh, this time. I uh, hope you've uh, managed to learn something about transistors and then the relay topic. Uh, see you tomorrow night for more video lectures then.